Hello! I am so glad you're here for a story from the Big Picture Story Bible. Remember, this book shows us how the Bible is all one story. It's the story of how much God loves us, that He loves us so much He sent His Son to be our rescuer. So, I want you to get your book, get it ready so you can follow along, and then at the end of the story that you hear today, you're going to have a fun activity that you can do at home. Part 10, Another Very Sad Day. King Solomon turned his heart away from God. God's people turned their hearts away from God, too. They doubted that God was good. They disobeyed God's word. They rejected God as their king. Before Solomon died, God told him that someday his kingdom would be torn apart. After Solomon died, God's word came true. God was angry. He sent prophets to warn God's kings and people to stop disobeying God's word. One of those prophets was Elijah. At that time, the ruler over part of God's people was Ahab. Elijah challenged Ahab's prophets to a contest. He told the prophets to ask their God to send down fire on an altar. King Ahab's prophets asked and asked and asked, but fire never came. Then Elijah built an altar. He told the people to pour four big jars of water on his altar. Then he told them to do it again and again. Twelve jars of water soaked Elijah's altar. Only then did Elijah step forward and pray, O oh Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel. Answer me, that this people may know that you, O oh Lord, are God, and that you have turned their hearts back. And do you know what happened then? God answered Elijah's prayer. Fire fell from the sky and burned up Elijah's sacrifice. God's fire burned up the stones, the soil, and all the water that had soaked the altar. The people were amazed. But do you think this made them return to God? No, it didn't. They continued to disobey God's word. So, God punished his people by sending a ruler from far away to make war on them. Many of God's people were killed or taken away. Later, King Zedekiah ruled over the rest of God's people. He did many evil things, and still he did not think that God would punish him. He thought to himself, Didn't God promise us this land forever? So God sent the prophet Jeremiah to say to the king, No. But Zedekiah refused to listen. So, God punished his people again by sending another king to make war on them. King Nebuchadnezzar came all the way from Babylon, and he 
destroyed Jerusalem. He burned Solomon's temple to the ground and took the rest of God's people far away from their land. This was another very sad day. God's people had to leave God's place because they would not have God for their king. Do you remember when God sent Adam and Eve away from him out of the garden? Well, God was doing it again. He was sending his people out of his place because of their sin. Today is part 10, another very sad day. In this story, we learn that God's kings and people were disobeying God's word. God sent prophets to warn them to stop disobeying God's word. For this activity, what you're going to need is either two buckets or you're going to need to get two large bowls. You're going to need a plastic cup and some water. Um, Take all your supplies and go outside. Fill one of the buckets up with water and place the other empty bucket a few feet away, um, across from it, a few feet away. Take your plastic cup and what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to fill up your plastic cup with water. You're going to race to the empty bucket and you're going to dump it in. You can make it a little more challenging by punching holes in the bottom of your cup um, to where the water's spilling out as you go. Um, do this 12 times like the number of buckets that were poured on top of the altar, 12. See how full your empty bucket becomes. You can even, if you have siblings, do this as a challenge with them. See who um, is the fastest at filling up the bucket. Hope you have fun with this activity and remember how we should follow God's word. Deuteronomy 6, 5. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Deuteronomy 6, 5.